up on October 6, 1962. I had this little boy by the name of Jeffrey Antonio Clark. He only weighed five pounds, six ounces, but he was such a preemie and he lost under five pounds. He had to stay in the hospital a couple extra days, which back then they kept you forever. But we finally brought him home and we moved in, Ernie and I moved in to his parents' house with him. As he got a little older, Ernie and I got an apartment and Jeffrey, he was a happy little boy, became ill and ended up having a little hospital stay. Got over that, brought him home again, he's still happy. We moved again as young people always do. And Jeffrey was wandering around in his little walker in the kitchen as I was trying to put things up in this house we moved into. And he got into the flower. And when I went in the kitchen, he looked like a little snowman in his walker. And I was like, oh, and if you think that's bad, try getting flour off of a kid. So then he grows up a little more. Jeffrey, he is a good kid. He did his little things and went to school. Had a little problem his first year or two in school because he was so young when he started. But he got through it. Once we got through all of that, Jeff was in junior high. He played the trumpet. Um, and he was on the track team main thing that Jeff needed in life was um, shoes, tennis shoes, to do his track. So, you know, being a mom, I spent quite a bit of money on his shoes, but that was okay. That was for his sports and what he liked to do. Um, then he had to have braces, and he didn't want to wear it because that was ugly on the outside of his mouth. He had to wear this retainer. And I told him, you know, you either wear it all night long or you have to wear it to school. And that's the way it goes, you know. You only have six months of this. So Jeff just decided, all right, he got mad. He wore it all day, all night for six months and said, now take these things off of me. I don't want them anymore. So he got his teeth straightened out. I hope they're still straight, Jeff. Um, then he went on to high school. He stayed on the track team. I didn't get to go to many of his meets because of work. They wouldn't allow us uh, to take off and do those things, but I did get to attend a couple of his meets. Then Jeff went to college um, to become an architect and that's basically what he does today. He's married, has a beautiful wife Kathy and he has a beautiful son Connor uh, and they live in New Jersey now. <laughs>